Hello, welcome back to Journey to iOS blog. I have this little Safari tricks that I want to share with you. Basically, it's a it's a simple way you can turn like a an article you read and like a, translate it into your own language that you understand, and then turn it into PDF iBooks that you can edit later. Currently, I'm using the iOS 11 developer beta preview, but you might be using iOS 10, and some of these tricks you can already do uh, in the iOS, uh, iOS 10. So let's just get started. Let's open up um, Safari. And I have this uh, this website that's actually in in French. Um, it's nowhere else.fr. So first of all, I'll go back to the original view. So this is probably what you see when you open up um, this blog post and it's asking for to accept the cookies in French. Okay, I'll accept. And the whole article is written in French, of course. And if you want it to be in English, there's a quick way to do it. If you actually installed this uh, Microsoft Translator app, which is actually free, um, that app actually works with Safari and give you ability to translate um, any kind of articles that you read on Safari which is this, this guy right here. So you, you simply tap that icon up, up here. That's a, and if you tap on the Microsoft Translator, it's gonna keep, uh, it's gonna process the articles and translate it into whatever ang uh, language you kind of setting uh, it for. So in this case, it's English. So now it is translated to English. Now this is nice, right? You, are, you can already read the articles in English and but there is one more thing that's a really nice tip is actually if you look at the icon up here and if you tap on that icon it will turn the blog post into a really nice uh, like a pdf view and it's actually very very tidy and stuff so um, if you actually translate it before it should actually make the articles um, in English as well, normally. Uh, just now it seems that it keeps the article in French, but it's supposed to be in English anyway. Uh, maybe it's just like a glitch for iOS 11. Uh, if you want to make changes to the text and everything, you can change it here, Make maybe make the paper uh, like a creamy color, change to Times New Roman or change the text, but I like it. Uh, keep it uh, as San Francisco type you can of course make the text larger and stuff so um, now actually uh, if you want to turn it into PDF you tap on this icon again and save PDF to iBooks and just wait a few seconds this is actually my really old iPad Air I have another iPad, which is iPad Pro, and it's still like a heaps faster. It's almost like 10 times faster, and there is no lag whatsoever. This one is slightly slower, and it's now using the iOS 11 beta as well, and it's not fully optimized yet. It's just a preview. So it's going to bring the, uh, the PDF into iBooks and put it in there, and it's going to sync with my iCloud, and uh, just in case I want to open it on different devices or on my Mac. So now it's already translated. So this is the this is actually the one that I this is the one that I did just now. But if I go back, this is the one that I did previously. This is actually translated into English properly. And this is since this is iOS 11, this guy actually uh, the iBooks has options to use the Apple Pencil. Or if you, if you don't have the pencil, you can still use the the tool for Apple Pencil and <clears throat> and you can do the highlight things like that and you know maybe like add some kind of marking so yeah it's really cool features and if you if you're happy with it you can just save it as a new PDF and email it to your friend maybe so yeah this is like a quick way um, see so you can simply mark up as PDF and yeah, you're done with it and you can simply save it. So yeah, from 
so let's go back to Safari. From the original um, blog post, you can easily translate it using the Microsoft Translator app combo, but there are other apps that are actually doing the translation for you as well. Um, this is just uh, one example. Um, so if you translate it and then you turn it into a nice uh, PDF view like this, all built in inside Safari, you can send it as a like a much uh, much nicer article view that you can keep as well for your uh, reference. So yeah, that's a quick tips on uh, how to use Safari to translate a article from blog post into a nice uh, PDF. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.